In this lesson, we're going to divide a fraction by a whole number by using bar models. Let's take 1 fourth divided by 3, and I'm going to draw some bar models for this. So I'm going to first draw a fourth. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. And then I'm going to divide it into fourths. And I'm going to shade in one fourth. Okay, so here's the one fourth represented here. Now I'm going to divide it by three. So I am going to, let's see, draw two lines to divide this into three equal parts going horizontally now. And I'm going to shade in three. And that would be the entire horizontal section there. And I'm going to focus here on, let's see, the section here. And I can see this is one of the f one of the four total parts here. So we have one and how many sections, if I counted all of these equal squares, I would have 12. So we have 1 12th. 1 fourth divided by 3 is 1 12th. I'm going to show you one more way to use a bar model for this. And I'm going to go, let's see, move this up. And, okay, so I'm going to draw two bar models, like so. I'm going to divide this again into fours, because I'm showing one-fourth. Hold on a minute, let me drag this down. And now I'm going to shade in one fourth. And I'm also going to draw I'm going to divide it into fourths just like the one above. But now I'm going to um, in, let me enlarge this. I'm going to divide it into thirds. So this this section right here I'm going to divide into thirds and thirds and thirds all the way. And one more. And let me shade it in. And now let's see. Let's look at this. So we have we have one section that's shaded and if I counted all of these equal parts there would be 12. So we have 1 in 12. So 1 12th. So that was the same answer that I got when I showed using the bar model up here on top. And like I said, this is another way where you have two bar models. Um, and when I look at the algorithm and I just do one fourth, instead of, let me move this over. So I have one fourth and then let me go over here, divided by three. What I'm actually doing is multiplying it by thirds. And that equals numerators one times one is one, denominator four times three is 12. Okay, so I just want you to see these, both of these bar models because they're both 
ways you will see um, this problem worked out doing two different types of bar models. So we're going to draw a model and solve. And we have 3 fifths divided by 4. So I'm going to draw a bar model. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I'm going to divide it. I'm going to show 3 fifths in this first one. 1, 2, 3. Okay, I have five sections and I'm going to shade in three. All right, so we have three fifths here. And I'm going to divide it by four. I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use blue and I'm going to go horizontally. That gives me two equal parts. I'm going to divide this in half and there. And so now I have four equal parts going horizontally. And let's shade in, let's see, shade in all of the sections. Okay, and again, I wanna focus on what I had originally, was that area here and how many sections of fifths did I have? I had one, two, three. So we have three. And how many how many equal parts are there? If I counted all of these up together, that would actually be five times four, which is 20. So that equals 3 twentieth. 3 fifths divided by 4 is 3 twentieths. And let's see if I can draw one that I have two bar models. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And move this up a tad. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And they're going to be, the first one's going to be divided into three fifths. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shade in three. Let me choose a different color. One, two, three. Now remember, it's this section right here that I'm going to divide even further into fourths. So let me reproduce what I have in the top bar model. And now I'm going to divide it even further into fourths. And I'll choose a different color. Let me get this larger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to continue doing this all the way. And one more line. Let me shade in the same area that I have here. I'm going to shade down here, which is this these three sections. Okay. And now I have me circle the sections I'm looking at. This part here. This is one, two, three. Three. And the denominator is going to be how many smaller equal sections I've divided it into. And that would be, oops, that would be 20. All right. 
Now let's go to the expression and let's solve it. Whoops, I don't need to rewrite it. It would be three fifths times one fourth. We have multiplied this section by fourths in each one of these. And that would equal three times one, which is three, and then five times four, which is 20. And this is the same answer we got on all three cases. Doesn't matter which way, 320, 320th, and 320th. Draw a model and solve one half divided by six. Pause the video and try and work this out. So I am going to show a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the bar model. And I'm going to divide it into two equal parts. And this one tells me I'm going to shade one portion of it. All right, so there's one half. Now I'm going to divide it into six equal parts and I'm going to do that horizontally. Let me change to a blue color. I'll try to do this equally. I have two equal parts. Whoa, actually, wrong way. Okay, so I need there and I need a line here. Three equal parts, and I'm going to go back and divide those portions again. Okay, it is not equal, but I have six parts and I'm going to shade in the entire, each one of these six sections. This is one six. Okay, and this is the part here that is shaded by both colors and this is one section. So that is my numerator. And if I count, go and count all of these portions that are divided into six, I would have 12. And there's my denominator. So one six, I'm sorry, one half divided by six equals one twelfth. I showed you a, another way to represent it with a bar model, and let me go ahead and do that. This is where we're going to have two bar models, one, two, three, four, five, six, and <clears throat> let's see, let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so there's my two bar models, and I'm going to divide each one of them by half. And I'm going to shade in. On the top one, I'm going to shade in a half. I'm going to take this part here on this bar model, and I'm going to divide it into six smaller parts. So let's see, I got three, and now I have six. And I'm gonna do the same on the other portion. And I'm gonna go back and shade in this section here. Okay. Now I'm going to compare. So this is the section right here. This part here. And that is one section. And I'm going to one section here. 
And I'm going to count how many equal parts I have divided. I've divided this bar model into, and that would be 12. So you can see that I have 1 12th and 1 12th as the same answer no matter which bar model I used. Now I'm going to go back to the, the um, equation, the expression, 1 half divided by 6, and I'm going to take 1 half and I'm going to multiply it because that is what I did down here. I multiply this whole by a 6. And I, and I just took 6 over 1. Let's see, 6 over 1. And I've written it as its reciprocal as 1 over 6. And multiply numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. And denominator 2 times 6 is 12. And again, I get the same answer of a 12. Thank you for viewing this video on dividing a fraction by a whole number.